Hello, everybody. I'm Inga Busta. I'm a professor of philosophy at the University of Oslo in Norway. And uh, I'm so thrilled to say hello to all of you in human dignity and humiliation studies and your conference. Uh, I would have loved to be there, but I, unfortunately, I'm here in Norway. Uh, I, uh, on behalf of uh, Eklin Lindner, uh, a role model for me, as uh, I suppose for many of you, um, I would just greet all of you and wish you good luck with the, the conference uh, at Linda University. Uh, and uh, I would like to say a few words on the Dignologue that I know you will be working for it. Last week, I published a book. Uh, unfortunately, it's in the region. It's called A Place to Belong in the World, Introduction to a New Philosophy of Pedagogy and uh, Pedagogy of Place. Uh, it's an anthology on the concept of home, and uh, my first idea was to write something to do an investigation about what it means to belong in the world. Um, and I uh, started out with uh, existentialistic perspectives, uh, uh, the opposite of not belonging, not experiencing belonging to the world uh, after being inspired by Hannah Arendt and her famous article, uh, Crisis in Education, where she says something about the grown-ups' responsibility to love the world enough uh, for uh, taking responsibility of the world for the young people to give them courage. And uh, that's the responsibility we have, even though we are afraid of the future, even though we are in, um, we, we disagree with political development and sustainability issues. We, part of being grown up is to take responsibility for the world and to show the children, uh, the next generations that we take care uh, and want them to see that it's about being together. Uh, it's about this very fundamental, vital relationships between human beings. So it's about humanities. Um, and the book is also about what it means for a bringing in education to, uh, to be rooted. Um, in different ways. Uh, it's a broad multidisciplinary anthology, um, and uh, I hope to translate it uh, into English uh, soon. Mm. One of the other articles about is about institutions for children with disability and children with um, different kinds of special needs, and what happens when school or the institution then becomes the school. So when school and institution and home is overlapping, uh, I'm using the concept of the core on heterotopia, heterotopias, uh, places that exist contradictory within a um, uh, society, uh, a marginalized outside but still inside a society um, and so on. So it's about an academic uh, dialogue and it's rooted in a philosophy of dialogue which I've been working with uh, for all my life, I think. After I wrote uh, another book uh, called The Look Around and the Chimney. This is uh, unfortunately Norwegian, but it means to look around, uh, caring, listening to others. Um, and it's about the new philosophy of pedagogy. And that uh, is also my interest in the digging log, um, 
is trying to advance uh, the knowledge about listening, not only the knowledge about listening and um, taking others seriously, but it's about um, seeing that the insight of listening to others seriously is in itself a valuable knowledge that is needed whenever we are engaging either in school with children or in daily life. So one of the other articles in this book launched a few weeks ago is about to listen um, in music. So um, the writer is reflecting on belonging in music and that to belong in a place unfamiliar to you, to feel that you belong in, for instance, uh, some kind of, of jazz music that was uh, developed far from your own uh, context and um, environment and still feel that, that there is where I belong. And Evelyn, she's a uh, uh, polyglot without a particular home. The world is her home, she says, and she feels at home in the world, even though she has no place in a way. It's a placeless place, stating or quoting Foucault, who says that the heterotopias are places that are exists in language uh, and they exist as utopias as well, but places to come. It's a vision about places to come, but still it encapsulates um, a way of being together. It's a way of being, uh, seeing that you are destined to belong in the world uh, and caring for others, even though they are very distant and far from home. Okay, uh, that was a few philosophical reflections for me. I, I'm now at the University of Oslo, where we launched the Dignity University in 2011. And I'm so happy to see that you are still developing, um, publishing, and uh, you are a university, a heterotopic university, one could almost say and I feel at home with you. So all the best and uh, hope to see you soon.